Hello friends, in this video I will be discussing problem number one that is solve the Sudoku using backtracking. Okay, so already I have discussed what is backtracking and using the example of Sudoku I have already explained the workflow that is the recursive workflow. Now I will be doing the code in C++ language. So I will give you the brief regarding the problem. So the problem is that we'll be given a board having empty cells which will be represented by zero. So the goal is to fill that empty cell with a number ranging from one to nine provided that there won't be any duplicate in each row, column and in the grid. So this is the grid. Okay, this one is the grid. So there are nine grids and the board size is fixed that is 9 cross 9 2d matrix okay so this is the problem now the input is like this is the test case and this is the sudoku values okay now we need to find the output okay so already i have created the code segment so the code segment is like this in main function first of all i'll take the input from the platform regarding how many test cases they are going to pass in it after that we'll take input from the platform so this board i have declared and inside this board this platform will give the input having some of the cells as an empty represented by zero okay so now i've already discussed the code snippet in my previous video that we are going to use that code in order to organize our code structure okay so i've created user defined function in main the task of this solve board is to find whether or not solution exists like it will return true or false so if it returns true then we need to print the board okay so we need to print the board this is for printing the board else no solution is there okay so this is main function so see the main function is very clear because i have created a user defined function that is the recursive function known as solve which will do all the tasks so by this way you can have your code in an organized manner yeah so this solve function is recursive function so we need to use base case in order to terminate it the moment we got our solution okay so first of all the main thing is extract the empty cell so first step is to extract empty cell so what i will do i'll use simple for loops or else i'll do copy and paste instead of writing the same stuff okay so this for loops nested for loops will help to extract empty cell in the board okay so if board of ij is zero as empty cell is represented by zero what we need to do we need to extract the location and store it in this variable so row is this and column is this yeah okay so after having this we need to move out of this inner for loop as well as outer for loop as because we have already found our first empty cell so we need to move out of these two loops in order to put a number ranging from one to nine in that empty cell so what i will do i'll create boolean flag that is is empty so right now is empty is true as because there are some empty cells in our sudoku board so inside this if if board i j equal equals to zero i'll change it from true to false just a flag like we can use integer i'm using boolean so anything you can use to indicate this flag and we'll do break so this break generally helps to move out of this inner for loop okay now to move out of this outer for loop what i will do i will check whether 
my is empty is false so if it is false it means i need to move out of this outer for loop okay i need to move out of this outer for loop yeah okay so the base case of this will be like if i'll be reached in this position in the last cell it means that i have filled all the empty cells i filled all this empty cells okay so what i will do if is empty then return true so this is my this is my base case why because see suppose we are here okay after filling the last cell we are here now it won't go inside this for loop okay so it won't go inside this for loop as a result our is empty is true our is empty will be true if any vacant cell is there inside the board then it will move inside this for loops which turn our is empty to false so that's why this acts as a base case which implies that our board is completely filled with the number okay so this is the base case now i've got the position of the cell so what i will do before filling any number to this position i'll call save function so i know that the number is ranging from 1 to 9 the number is ranging from 1 to 9 before filling this number into that position i'll call is save function and inside this i'll pass board i'll pass the information of the position where i was about to fill that with this number okay and that number okay so this is save function will decide whether this value which i'm trying to fill in that empty cell leads to a solution or not so it will return true or false so suppose this is save function returns true if it returns true then put the value put the value in that position okay so after putting the value in that position then recur for the next empty cell so again i'll be calling solve and it will recur for the next empty cell okay so now it will again go from this to this part as because it is recursive function in order to understand this recursive flow check my previous video in which i have discussed it in very detailed manner okay so after filling the empty cell with the numbers ranging from 1 to 9 this solve board will return true okay the solve board will return true else do backtrack backtrack means that there is a cell in which the number ranging from 1 to 9 is not satisfying like it's not leading to a solution so we need to do backtrack so if it is not satisfying like if it is not leading to a solution we will be getting false in this solve board as a result this return true will not execute and it will move to this part okay and it will change the filled value with the initial value so again i am repeating that in order to understand this recursive flow check out my previous video so i'll mark it with the initial value okay and i'll do return false okay. creating the save function 
so inside solve i have created is safe and i have passed board so i'll write int board okay next i have passed the information of the position in where i'll be filling the value but before that i'll pass that in this is safe function to check whether it, it leads to a solution or not okay it will it's i j and that number so we need to check for this number k whether it leads to a solution or not now the rule in sudoku was that the number must not be repeated in a row in column and in the grid so we'll use for loop for the number okay and inside this i'll write the condition to check whether in row there is k or not or in column okay if it is there then return false that the row or the column is containing the number which we are trying to fill with okay so return false in this case okay now we'll check for the grid so as we know that the size of the grid is 3 cross 3 so the logic which i need to follow in order to check for the grid is that suppose our i value is in this is in this okay in this column so what we need to do is that we need to traverse this grid we need to traverse this grid that means we need to use the loops which will start from this 5 to this cell to the last cell of this grid okay so the size of this grid is 3 cross 3 it means that we need to subtract this position from the modulo okay we need to subtract this position from the modulo of this position that is modulo with the size of the grid in order to reach in this cell and from here i will be do traversing through this grid okay so i hope that you have got the point yeah so what i will do is that in order to in order to reach in the starting position of the grid i'll do this like the initial position the i was this minus its modulo with the size of the grid okay and my row row starting is this and column starting is j minus j mod 3 as i is representing row and column is being represented by j okay now i'll be traversing that whole grid so 0 2 the size of the grid so the size of the grid is 3 cross 3 so i'll traversing this whole grid i'll use two for loops okay you can take any example and check this uh, logic that how it is reaching to the starting row and column of the grid so now i'll check whether in that grid that number is there or not so if the grid contains the number it means that that number is violating that it does not leads to a solution okay so my board of uh, row start plus x and column start plus y 
if this is equals to the number it means return false okay otherwise return true if none of the rules are violating it means we need to return true that yeah it is safe to put this number in this position okay and recur for the next empty position if the recursive function return false it means that we need to do backtrack so this is the backtrack part we need to do backtrack that is we need to change the value to the initial value so this is the sudoku program after that i'll do compile test like there are lots of errors in this program okay no problem the first error is okay, variable name error so i need to write is empty now i've used row and column as the variable like r and c as the variable to mark the position but i've written ij my bad okay yeah i've used this r and c okay okay i'll do compile and test again to see whether it's working or not board ij equals to zero i was not declared in this scope n is not declared in this scope lots of errors are there in this i'll do rc next is this okay again i'll do compile and test i'll do submit and see whether it's working or not yeah i got this okay so by this way we can solve this sudoku problem in order to check explanation about this you can check my previous video okay till then bye friends